In 1972, Airbus rewrote the rulebook. The A300 became the world's first wide-body jet with just two engines. Up until then, long-haul wide-bodies meant three or four engines. Boeing had the 747, McDonnell Douglas the DC-10, and Lockheed the L-1011. Regulators and airlines alike believed twin jets couldn't provide the safety or range needed for big passenger loads. Airbus decided to prove them wrong. The A300 was designed with just two high-bypass turbofans mounted under a wide-body fuselage that could carry 250 passengers. By combining fuel efficiency with modern aerodynamics, it offered airlines lower operating costs while still delivering wide-body comfort. It was Airbus's very first aircraft, and it set the tone for everything that followed. It wasn't an instant hit. Airlines were cautious about trusting a twin jet on long routes. But the A300 laid the groundwork for ETOPS certification, which eventually allowed twin jets like the A330, 777 and 787 to cross oceans safely. What started as a gamble became the industry standard. The A300's DNA is everywhere. Every Airbus jet from the A320 to the A350 carries its legacy. What was once a radical idea, just two engines on a wide body, is now so normal that four-engine airliners are almost extinct. So here's the question. Did Airbus take the biggest risk in jetliner history or the smartest bet?